Well, today is the day shoppers are encouraged to think small. Small Business Saturday is in its ninth year. New or old businesses now count on this day for some big sales, and it didn't disappoint in Butler County. Local 12's Christian Hauser takes us to Hamilton's recently renovated Main Street and some of the businesses there. Main Street in Hamilton has been busy as can be today. And the city just finished a major construction project in the area, including new brick pavers as well as new lampposts for the area. And it was all finished just in time for Small Business Saturday. Shops up and down Main Street were ready for Small Business Saturday. Let's try this. Sherry Hoskins' Pedal and Wicks has been open since May. It's a candle shop that lets you build your own candle with just about any scent you can imagine. They love the thought of being able to personalize it for themselves. Some people like softer scents, some people like stronger scents. Michelle Freeman and her son just picked up a personalized candle. They came out because of Small Business Saturday. Uh, we enjoyed it. We had lunch down here. We hit a lot of the stores. Um, there's a lot of unique things here for people to visit. This is Hoskins' first small business Saturday. She didn't know what to expect. We are almost sold out. We thought we were overcompensating, and we are almost sold out, which is just phenomenal. We've been packed all day. Do you have one of our loyalty cards? I'll get you started. On the other side of the Great Miami River in downtown, Sarah's house has been busy all day. Girls are growing up. Owner Sarah Valandingham says Small Business Saturday is really catching on. I feel like people are really catching on to the concept of Small Business Saturday and how important that is to our local businesses. Um, not only does it drive sales into our store, but it also helps to introduce people to just the idea of shopping local and we get a lot of new customers on this day. Sarah's house is an eclectic mix of items, most of which are made locally by her family or artists. She's thankful the community has embraced Small Business Saturday. Especially supporting small local businesses and the artists that they hire or that they bring in and promote. And I think it just, it's a feel good. People love knowing that, that they went in and supported their local mom and pop. In Hamilton, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Small Business Saturday was created by American Express in 2010. Last year, it's estimated shoppers spent nearly $13 billion on the unofficial holiday.